than changing negative behaviors into positive life lessons. So let's see what people are saying about this workshop. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, he put more into two hours than I've gotten out of sessions that were two weeks. Uh, his honesty, his integrity um, shown through. Information is power and that, that really came across for me to project to our children, to other adults. A lot of things that I never knew and I'm 50 years old and I would highly recommend this session. Any parent, any... Uh, loving ourselves about just taking our lives to the next level. It's not just a lesson that we need as adults but something that we absolutely need to spread the word to our children. We forget these things sometimes with our children and take them for granted. But this is the information they need. Because it's going to transform your life, it's going to educate you, and uh, you're going to see things in a different way. But it's been a life-changing event. Mm -hmm. inside of me to see what I need to fix in order to save the youth. Jeremy Perry, quarterback, Tennessee State University. I really think that it helped me to really put a hand on those things that helped me to be a leader, uh, not only in our community, but, you know, with our family as well. You know, I really learned a lot. And, you know, by writing down some tangible things and some tangible goals, uh, I think that I kind of even know more about myself and what I want in a relationship and what I don't want in a relationship. I'm Davis. Uh, I played football here at Tennessee State University. And when I got out of the art of loving with um, Mr. Uh, Glover, uh, it told me a lot about loving myself before I'm able to else. It told me it's more than life. It's more than life than just having sex, going out partying, drinking, and all that stuff like that. And it, it really helped me uh, finding myself and, and trying to make a change for myself. For the best. And partaking in this program and learning about loving yourself is uh, it's a great feeling. And I plan on passing this on to many generations of men, uh, as well as my, my own brother, which is 13. I mean, I have to teach him myself and that I'll pass this. That this program and this play is very powerful. My daughter and I are going through this right now. We've been talking about it and she's not saying anything during this play but she's listening and I'm watching her and she's taking it all in and I mean this is perfect. God put us here at this time at this place for a reason and I'm just so thankful because it's, it's just something that needs to be fed into her spirit right now because of all the struggles that she's going through at school with peer pressure and everything. So I am just so thankful. Mission Drama, thank you very much. This is great. This is awesome. This is powerful. I had high expectations uh, as well as not really sure what to expect, but i tell you what, blown away. Not only do I recommend this program, it would be ridiculous and not have this program. Uh, this. The message is on target. The the message, not just through what Roderick says, but through the drama. Uh, and then of course, you get a little bit of uh, movement in when the when the soldiers get in there and do their rap thing, and it's awesome. I highly recommend it to school, whatever. You, it, you need to get this program, and you need to get it to the teenagers, you need to get it to the parents, and anybody that really needs to know, not just about how to love yourself, but how to teach you how to love yourself. And this program, Roderick's program, is the program that will do that. My name is Lucas, and uh, man, I, I saw what they did tonight on the stage, and it was powerful. It, it, honestly, I told them afterwards, it's something that every every college needs to see. I mean, it's powerful. Father, 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 so would you be my best friend Before I call myself your man Why can't I love you in slow motion? Take my time Take away the pressure Yes, I heard somebody here talking to themselves and singing or something <laughs> See, what we're dealing in life is with the negative and the positive. The negative comes to kill, steal, and destroy your dreams. 
to rip your self-esteem down so low, you start to believe, I can't do this no more, man. When you deal with addictions, addictions come in and they take over your life. The negative is very addictive. Sex is very addictive. I always say is do it. Men always, always told us, you want to be a man, man, you better have sex. <coughs> That's what they told us. They gave us a lot, man. <laughs> it's your hand, man. Johnny, what you talking about? <laughs> what they done told you? Uh-uh. <laughs> your flesh is up here. You just can't stay back. You better get aggressive. You see what I'm saying? So you do what? You pull him back, and he pull back. But if you notice, the first time his flesh went over there, he just watched it go. Give them a hand, y'all. Did y'all get that scenario? Give them a hand. Thanks. Working on the inner you so you can get to the next level. I'll be tired of being tired to break the generational curse that's in our lives, in our families. So I heard a guy speak. He came to talk just like we talking. And I came in the room. And when I heard him speak, man, he was talking about me. The reason why I did that best, man, and I sat in my house one day, man, and I looked and I said, I don't love myself. I don't love myself. Yeah, I can make them laugh, man. I can get out there and work out, flex muscles. I can do all this stuff, man. People like me, but I don't like myself. And man, when you come to the conclusion that you don't love yourself, man, it hurts. And I looked in the mirror and I said, I love myself. And if I love myself, I do what's best for myself. If I want the positive, and my life changed right there. And once I made that commitment, man, I learned to respect me, I learned to respect my space, and I learned to respect my girlfriend. But what I'm telling you, it's not too late. After this, we're going to actually write down what you're dealing with in your life. And you're going to let it go, right here in this room. Whatever, whatever generational curse, whatever you're going through, somebody want to give up alcohol, drugs, some people want to recommit themselves and say, hey man, I want to save my body. Uh, how does it look to you? Is it respect? What do you want out of relationship? What do you expect to, for people to know they love you? Just write it down. Yes, I must do better than yesterday. For yesterday is gone and today is all I have.